Who can forget these faces? Mary Kay Letourneau and Deborah Lefebvre, both teachers, both married, and both having sexual relations with their teenage students. Lefebvre pleaded guilty to having sex with a 14-year-old boy. My greatest regret would probably be um, the fact that I put this young man through this. Letourneau convicted of raping her student, Vili Fulau. Following a prison sentence, the two married. Beautiful women preying on boys, and now we allegedly have another one. Ms. Shattuck, may we speak to you? Former Baltimore Ravens cheerleader Molly Shattuck is facing rape charges, unlawful sexual contact, and providing alcohol to a minor for allegedly having sex with a 15-year-old boy at a beach house in Delaware Labor Day weekend. Shattuck is recently divorced and well-known in some circles, having published a book entitled Vibrant Living, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Allegedly, she contacted her victim through her own son. She has pleaded not guilty. She's just a classic example. She is no different than an abusing priest, an abusing rabbi, or a parent. So are more women committing sexual crimes with minors, or are we just hearing about it more? It could boil down to more young male victims gaining courage to speak out. There was a time when everybody just pretended, oh, this isn't really a problem. But there is a problem. Experts say a profile of these women may show they are lonely, want to control someone, and want a lot of attention. But sexual relations between a minor and an adult woman is a serious crime. There was a time when boys would have been told, you know, they were lucky. Uh, that they got to be with an older woman. But do beautiful female sexual offenders get a better deal than their male counterparts? Many believe that's the case. LaFave's attorneys seem to sum it up best. Uh, to place an attractive young woman uh, in that kind of hellhole uh, uh, is like putting a, a piece of raw meat in with the lions. LaFave was given seven years probation, but notoriety for life. As you can see, my face has been plastered on every internet address, every news outlet. And if attention is one motivator for these women, their names can become household words. Letourneau even had her own Lifetime movie, All American Girl. But is it worth the ultimate title for some? Registered sex offender. Jean Casares, CNN, New York.